Frosttube, welcome back. Um, my name is Lindsay and this is my fifth Frosttube video. Um, I've been doing these monthly, but I think I'm going to start doing them every two weeks um, because I've been getting a lot of really great comments and I've had several um, people on Instagram uh, comment that they would like to see updates a little bit more often. So, um, that is a change that's probably coming. Let's see, I've got a little bit of haul, I've got a lot of whips, I've got a lot of sows. Um, since I saw you last, I had my 40th birthday, which was on April the 7th, and despite the fact that um, some of the other editors work, that I work with decided that that was fake news, it is in fact the truth. So I am 40 years old and we kind of had like a small family celebration on my birthday and I got some cool new shoes. Actually, let me go grab those. I'll show you. See, I should have brought these over when I started it, but... So I got these, which are totally cool. I mean, really, how cool are these shoes? So I got these from my parents, and I wear heels almost every single day, but it's nice to have a really comfy pair of flats, because I will wear flats like around the house and stuff like that, but to work pretty much every day, like if I don't wear heels or boots, then somebody makes a comment. So speaking of boots, um, I am a city girl and I live in the country. I, I live in a town that's a little less than 9,000 people in Oklahoma. So cowboy boots are sort of the thing. And I actually never owned a pair of cowboy boots until I lived here and the boots that I wear most of the time are black and they have skulls on them because I'm me. Um, but then I just got these for my birthday, which are totally cool. And I'm still working on breaking them in, but really, really like them. And I was super surprised when we were at the store the other day to actually find some in my size because um, in boots I actually need a five and a half and I still have to wear double socks. So there you have it. Um, I don't have any new other new shoes other than that, but those are my new birthday shoes. I also got a bunch of books and a new purse and we are leaving uh, tomorrow to go to New Orleans for a couple of days sans kids. Um, between the two of us, Ryan and I, we actually have four kids. I have two boys and he has a boy and a girl and they range from 11 to six with the girl being the six year old. So um, we don't ever get to go do anything. We don't ever get to go out. So we're running away for a couple of days. Um, oh, and then I got this. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it. Um, but Ryan gave me this, which is this really cool bracelet. Let me see if I can. You might have to look at it upside down. So it's got this little skull on it and a little rose. And yeah, love, love, love that. Um, let's see, what is in other news? Um, our next door neighbor found three foxes and offered us one. And <laughs> they are still not allowed as pets, even though we live in rural Oklahoma. So we, we did some research and decided that with the five cats that we have inside that we didn't really need a fox. But it would be totally cool to have a pet fox, right? So, okay. Um, stitching. I'm throwing stuff on the floor here. So um, I didn't stitch really like at all last weekend because it was my birthday or getting ready for the trip and I didn't stitch a whole lot the weekend before that because my dad um, actually retired and it was his birthday so we had a big thing so I kind of lost a lot of my weekend stitching time however 
I have been obsessed with the Undisclosed podcast. Uh, if you're not a podcast fan, I highly recommend checking them out. Usually when I'm stitching, sometimes I like to watch TV, but a lot of times I like to listen to something. So I'm a huge fan of Audible, and I've been listening to a bunch of books on there. I'm actually listening to Lincoln and the Bardo right now, which is... I'm finding it a little bit confusing by audiobook, but anyway, if you guys are interested in knowing what I'm actually reading or what I'm actually listening to, leave me a comment down below and let me know. I'll be happy to include that. But I generally always have an audiobook going, a uh, actual real book going, and an ebook going sort of all at the same time because it depends on where I am. What I'm going to read. Um, last week I really kind of had a reading bug because I discovered the Midnight Texas series by Charlene Harris. Uh, she's the one who wrote the Sookie Stackhouse novels which True Blood was based on and I've read all of those and I've wanted the Midnight Texas ones for a while and I got the first two for Christmas and I got the third one for my birthday so I'm on the third one now and then I got some of the Lily Bard um, books from her for my birthday. So I've kind of been on a reading kick, um, but then I've gotten back into stitching and listening to my podcast, which is where I started this long um, tangential <laughs> story. Um, anyway, I had enjoyed listening to podcasts, but I hadn't, you know, I kind of listened here and there. It's like This American Life or um, some, you know, fun history stuff, a lot of NPR stuff. And then I discovered Serial. And if you haven't listened to Serial, it is absolutely fantastic. Season one is about the um, murder of Heyman Lee, and Adnan Syed was convicted of her murder. And they kind of look at it, and basically, I don't think that he did it. I just think that the evidence completely points in a different way. There are all kinds of things wrong with the court case, so Serial covered it, and then season two of Serial is a Bo Bergdahl case. Well, I was so obsessed with the Adnan Syed case that I started listening to Undisclosed, which is three lawyers who are delving really into sort of the meat of the evidence and the court case and all of this kind of stuff. And since those came out, um, Syed's conviction has been overturned and it is still kind of in limbo right now whether the state will retry him or not. So, and he, he is still in prison. So I am on Undisclosed Season 2 right now, which is about another um, possibly wrongly convicted person. And then I've got all these other podcasts that I want to listen to. I have a true crime podcast problem but I like to listen to it while I stitch that was sort of the whole point of that extremely long story let's get to the stitching so this is really in no particular order um, I have some haul I have some whips I have some cells so we'll just go through it in the order that I find it here so I have an almost FFO. Um, this is by Clouds Factory and this is the Beatles and I made this for my future father-in-law and the reason why I say it's almost FFO'd is because I wanted to make sure that this frame was the right size but I have not trimmed the fabric yet. So but this is the frame that it will live in when I'm done but that one was so 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 fun. And I've actually ordered, I, I purchased um, three more patterns from Clouds Factory, but I have not started those. So I will show you those in upcoming videos. I'm really going to only work on one Clouds Factory uh, pattern at a time, but I'm doing a bunch of those for Christmas. So I've got another one that's a whip that I'll show you coming up. And then I purchased the Princess Bride, an Italy one, and the Cinderella Mice. So you can look forward to those whips coming up. Um, okay, let's find 
let's see, this is, what is this? Okay, so I actually purchased some fabric for those Clouds Factory projects. And here they are. So I got this 32 count Mercedes linen, which is this really, really pretty blue. And I think that that is going to be for the, um, I think that that's going to be for the Cinderella mice. And then I purchased this in Heroic. This is also a uh, 32 count linen. And this will be for the Princess Bride. And that's got a, it's a, it's a tan, but it's got some like blue and pink in there. And then I purchased one more. This is also 32 count linen in Ariel. And this is a, a bit of a deeper kind of a sky blue. And this will be for the Italy one. So those are some purchases there. Um, all right, let's go to Sal's. See, I didn't, I didn't work on my full pieces at all. I showed you that last time. Okay, Sal's. So I am doing two. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and do the other Clouds Factory one since we're talking about Clouds Factory. So um, the Clouds Factory one that I'm working on currently is Stranger Things. So. These are just, they're so fun and they work up really pretty fast. There's a lot of fun detail. I'm making this for my oldest son. If you have not seen Stranger Things, it is a Netflix original. And I think it was an eight, yeah, I think it was eight episodes. It's, it's really pretty cute and fun and mysterious and creepy and definitely go check it out. Okay. Now let's move on to cells. So I've got the uh, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Happily Ever After. And I did finish the April one there for Around the World in 80 Days. And I didn't do any more on the border. So I think I'm going to wait until next month and I might um, work on the rest of that border, but I am caught up with the months currently. This one is so much fun. I just, I can't wait until it comes out because I'm having a really good time with it. Oh, and my, um, my needle minder for that is my little Nancy Drew book. And my needle minder on Stranger Things was The Raven huge Poe fan, so love those. And then I am currently, um, the whip that I'm working on at the moment is the uh, Stitch Rovia Quotes to Live By, and I don't want to pull this off of here because this was not exactly easy to get on, um, but I do have all of the months done so far, except for this is where I am on April, and I have not done any of the border and I haven't done any more on the top than what I have done. Um, this is a new um, haul item. I purchased this from Maggie's Minders on Etsy because I saw it and it was just too stinking cute. And then she sent this little needle minder to match with the skull. If you haven't figured it out, I love, love skulls. Um, and then I had, I'd had my mother um, go to our, well, her local cross-stitch store and pick up some fabric for me for the linens. My brain has just left me, but the linens mystery salad, the one with the nice little circles and um, birds and all that kind of stuff. But... I totally did my math wrong because I was in a hurry. She was there, she called me and said, okay, I'm here, what color do you want? What size do you want? And so I figured it up. I wanted a 32 count linen. And so I figured it up. 
but I forgot that I wanted to do it over two and not over one. So I figured this up for over one. So I started it, and so this is the fabric that I got. It's a 32 count natural linen. So I started this two over two, not even thinking, and I got part of the first section done and realized that my fabric was not going to be big enough at all. So I decided to try to restart it one over one, which is what I have on here right now. And I decided that I didn't like that at all. I think that it's just gonna to be too tiny and you're not going to be able to see any of the details. So I'm going to save this fabric for another project. And I ordered the correct size. You know, and I did think about doing just like a third or two thirds of the pattern like a lot of people I have seen are doing it. I know McKenna um, is just doing a third of it, which I think is a, a fantastic idea and I didn't even think about it. And I thought about doing that, but then the fabric won't be long enough either. So I ordered a different piece and this is 32 count summer khaki linen. So that is what it looks like. And this one will be big enough to do the whole project. I am planning on doing the entire width of the project, but I don't know that I will, since I haven't even started it yet and it's already April, I don't know if I will be able to catch up with all of the other things that I have going on and plans that I have to make stuff for people for Christmas with the Clouds Factory stuff. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up because the pattern is so big. So I'm just going to kind of work on that as I can without really uh, pressuring myself a lot to get it done. And then this is another sal, but it's a sal that's over. And I probably should measure my fabric because I think I ordered... I think I ordered an extra big piece of this fabric because I really liked the color and it was a good price. So I really need to kind of measure it out and maybe cut off some extra if I can. But this is the um, Save the Stitches Blackwork Sal. And this was one from last year, I believe. And I have just finished the first part of it. This one is so much fun. So I did finish off the first section of it, and I'm loving this. This is really, really, really fun. But I finished off the first section, and then I did decide to move on. So I do have plans to get started on the second section of that here very quickly, because that one is really fun. But again, I'm not trying to keep up with that. I'm not trying to catch up because it's over. I'm just having fun with it and working on it when I can. And it is a bit more challenging because I haven't done black work before. So I generally try to work on that when I know that it's quiet and I don't have a lot of um, interruptions. That's not really like a weekend project when the whole family's here and we have the TV on and all that kind of stuff. That's kind of a, once the kids go to bed and I have some time during the week and I can really concentrate on it. Okay, so what else do I have going? I think I've gone through most of my bags here. So that was all of my... Okay, that's all my fabric I haven't started on yet. Okay, so other whips. I have two other whips that I am working on. And one of them is this skeleton, which is... Um, All Are Equal in Death by Dark Crosses on Etsy. And last time you saw this, I had gotten about half of the skeleton done. So I finished off the skeleton and I started on this border and I'm working my way up. So I worked on that for probably about a week. And then I moved on and my needle minder on that is Walking Dead. So he is super, super fun. And... Um, I'm still trying to think of a name for him. 
I've had a couple, but they just didn't feel right. So, still working on that. Um, I did not work on my hand at all. And I'm, I'm not really thrilled with the pattern, so, because it's one that Ryan picked out. So, I might pick out a different hand. I did finish Train of Dreams last October, and I'm kind of itching to get another one started. But again, I have like five hundred other things going so I don't know maybe and then I didn't work on my Paris at all um, so the last yep this is the last thing so the last one that I have is girl power and last time you saw this I had barely started on it So that is where I am now. I had started off working on just the solid color portions of it and then I decided it might be easier to do the outlines and then fill in because then I can just kind of mindlessly <laughs> fill in on that and so I'm, I'm almost, once I fill this portion in down here I will have a whole page finish on that so that's fun but it's not sort of up my alley I'm making this for um, our six-year-old Taylor for Christmas so not really completely up my alley but it is definitely up hers and I can't work on it while she's here on the weekends so we have Ryan's kids every weekend so I can't really work on it on the weekends when she's here because I don't want her to see it so that is everything that I have in progress right now um, I am hoping to get quite a bit of stitching done once I get back from my trip. If I don't just bury myself in all the books that I got for my birthday. So if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Um, I will link to as many of these patterns as I can down below. So if you want to check those out, then you can. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Have fun stitching. Bye.